But how does the society perceive of it? The Bible condemns tattoos. In my opinion, what you are referring to is certain marks that we put on, on our bodies that we find on Lil Wayne and uh, Lil John and uh, I think there is even a Lil Kim. I think they are all Lil's. My personal perspective, I just don't think that there's anything wrong with tattoos. Islamic perception or Islamic idea about uh, tattoo is that and the Prophet Sallallahu and said if anybody or uh, who is drawing or piercing his body with structures yani kidiote mchoro yani mtume amesema nimemlaani na yule pia ana mchoro amelaani na mtume we are quick to condemn without helping this person to disciple to be discipled and become a disciple of Jesus Christ you've made me think about Leviticus which is a very famous scripture on tattoos and it talks about uh, how the children of God were told by the Lord uh, not to tattoo themselves in honor of a dead body. Someone needs to read the whole passage and say, does the Bible explicitly say that this mark is a tattoo? Or this mark is a figurehead of some sort? Because marks in the Bible, especially in relation to the Messiah or Jesus, are marks of beatings and marks of, uh, of, 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 of beatings and all that. Period. Nothing else. There is no option in tattoo in Islam. Yeah, that thing, the prophet said I cast. You know one thing in Islam is, the, Allah says, and uh, my way, the way to me is the way of the prophet. So you have to follow him and you have to obey him. Once you disobey the prophet, you disobey God. So the prophet said he is cast anybody. So it must be obeyed that rule. What is happening with our age is that we are becoming more clearer and more sure of what we are doing and what that means. Now, this you did not ask, but I'll give you for the benefit of it. Um, part of them are a rebellion against what is known to be normal. When the young people are doing it, they're not doing it in honor of a dead body. Uh, for the most part, they're doing it because it's a trendy issue. I, I don't know, maybe to speaking in ignorance, but most tattoos originate in the occult. Someone being in a cult is like optional, someone's okay, someone's choice. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to tattoos, I told you, like, tattoos, guys get tattoos with meanings. Mm -hmm. So some of our clients tell us, like, me, I'm getting this tattoo because it's my birthday. You can't just put any tattoo because mm -hmm. it must have a meaning to the tattoo you want to get. The British Navy encouraged tattoos simply because it was a form of recognition. Mm -hmm. So that if anyone jumped ship, they would automatically be recognized. Sometimes tattoos are sort of like part of the culture or, yeah. you know, the way you express yourself or maybe practices that are like similar to tattoos. But yeah, I, I, don't, I never really thought about it. I would find it normal if people would tell me, yeah, that it's very common in a certain African country. I am an African and our cultures don't allow. They don't, we don't accept the tattoos. There are certain cultures and peoples, and, and I think for me, I'll make uh, the voodooism in, in Haiti maybe an example of that. Um, there are certain marks that have been borrowed from ritualistic cultures that could be borrowed as far as the Bible or even as ancient as Chinese culture or so on or Indian cultures that were marks to show this is what we intend to do. For example, when you're going out for war, this is what you mark yourself out for. When you're going out for worship, this is what you mark yourself out for. What is the end result of that? The key thing is, is it right before the eyes of God? Because I believe whatever I should do, whatever I should do, whatever you should do, and all of us, it should bring glory to God because it's not about you, it's about God Himself. This body, yeah, it's a, we call it the temple of the Lord Jesus. And you're not supposed to keep harming it because the way the tattoos are put, the way I understand, is etched into your skin. What really makes the tattoo wrong or right is the motive. Where are they coming from and why are they doing it? Tattoos are a way of life that are more of to say in sociological terms a graffiti culture and if it's a graffiti culture then it gratifies the particular age at a particular stage most of the global celebrities are, are, are heavily involved in the occult it's a fact then you will realize that because these celebs are the ones that our young people are, are patterning their lives after these, these celebs will have a very big influence on, on our young people, such that we will have our young people with tattoos and everything. So you will find that the origin of the tattoos is in these celebrities who are in the occult. It is a cultural issue and above all, 
it is a social issue. So in a nutshell, tattoos have got their classification. Each mark that is imprinted on a person's body has got its meaning. And it's good for the society, for the youth to understand that for a boxer, he may put a tattoo of a very tough animal like a tiger on his biceps. And that alone victimizes or intimidates psychologically the opponent. The Bible says, you shall not put a mark on you. Then whether that mark is of the cross, for Pete's sake, whether it's of heaven, I think you would be very cautious to just allow the Bible, just follow the Bible entirely. Not, do not pick snippets of the Bible and say, I, mine is of heaven. Without, because at the end of the day, a tattoo is a tattoo. What is the main reason for getting the tattoo? I think the act itself is not the issue, it's the reason why, you, why you're doing what it is you're doing. It's a very interesting and nice way to um, express yourself, either what you believe in or what, what your aesthetic standards are. Um, I personally never really wanted one, or oh, maybe I secretly wanted one, but I never could decide, I could never decide what I would actually tattoo, what that tattoo would represent. Tattoo speaks volumes and therefore you can easily be victimized if you are engaging in having imprints of tattoos that are of persons who are of criminal nature. I think if we attack tattoos, we have to attack everything, including wigs, earrings, because the Bible does not allow any of them, lipstick, all those additions. We are the temple of the Holy Spirit, and so we have to take good care of ourselves. However, I do not see where the Bible says we shouldn't uh, for instance, wear uh, new clothes that are coming into fashion, uh, put on a new hairstyle, uh, put on a trendy shoe. There's no in the Bible where it says you don't need to do that. So in essence, then we would say, in as much as tattoos are a way of expressing yourself, to a greater extent, tattoos display your character. Obviously, we have certain stereotypes about people who have tattoos everywhere, what they're like in the U.S., that means that you're like in a motorcycle gang or something, yes. but uh, no, but generally it's a person's personal choice if they want to do that and that's fine. Anything is generally inspired by something, no matter how abstract or direct it might be. Those who have tattoos, they have something strange. They, they, they are addicts, they are negative, uh, negative behaviors and all that, but again, I must say no to all of them are that. Okay, nowadays tattoo chukuli ka kitumbaya sana kama kitambo. Jikitambo liko associated na magangbengas, what were prison, kitukaya. Lakin squeezing na chukuli waka a form of expression. You know, most of the managers are, of course, older than most of the young people. You know, we are, they are above 40 and, of course, you know, most of them are conservative. So the kind of tattoo you carry, of course, changes the perception. It's something that you actually make up your mind that I'm going to get one. It says it's permanent, so what if I change my mind in, I don't know, a year or two yeah. or when I grow up, <laughs> you know? Yeah. That mark is permanent. Should you change your mind about that? Maybe you put the name of your boyfriend on that, on your body, and then you part ways. What are you going to do with that name? You live with something you hate. In fact, uh, and again, if you have to remove it, Kabisa, I understand you have to go through surgeries. It's six times more painful. Uh, okay, cool talk, like a quick. A lot of is super expensive. Uh, around 10,000 Kenya shillings per session. But instead of putting it on your body, why don't you just express it? Part of our problem is that we don't process what we borrow. We just put it on and think that it is cool just because of what we are seeing on the video. I think we need to put a system of processing, otherwise we are going to be vomiting without knowing what we ate in the first place. Don't get tattoos if you, just for the sake of it, because your friends have it. What are the possibilities of being misinterpreted? Or what are the possibilities of being accepted by the community? So everything, whatever system we have, it will always have some negative thing to it and some positive thing to it. When you teach people the truth, whatever else, um, that they are told or that they learn, they question it against what you had taught them previously. It's not whether tattoo is bad or tattoo is good, but I feel the key thing is, is it right before God 
or and uh, the motives behind it. Why am I like maybe putting that to? Am I putting it to maybe displease people or maybe to please myself? Why am I doing it? It's a permanent mark, so it's reversible. But think through tattoo. If you get a design, go talk to your artist. Bonga pia na your friends who are kama one is approved. Like at the end of the day, decision at Okoko. If you really feel the design, just do it. So it's clear that some people associate tattoos with negativity in the society, while others simply don't mind the idea. Let not this questionable mark leave a question mark.